Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and this is your New Jersey chiropractor, Dr. Eric Herman, and he's been down here with us since Monday, training on learning the non-surgical manual spinal neural okay. decompression on the y-axis, which we lovingly call the ring dinger. Oh. And uh, we've been doing histories and exams and going over technique and going over principles of biomechanics and correction of subluxations. And uh, what would you have to share with our audience about your experience here doing this this week and what you've seen with other patients coming in? Gotcha, sure. Um, phenomenal. I haven't really done, uh, this is my 23rd, 24th year in practice. I haven't really done a lot of technique seminars, but maybe in the last seven, eight, ten years, but I got really interested and I'm glad I came because great review, very thorough. Um, it's really gonna, I'm really gonna step up my game as far as my history and my exam. And of course, this treatment blew me away the first time I ever experienced it. You have to experience it to really get the true life-changing experience. Um, looking at it and watching it really doesn't do it justice, even though it does look awesome. Man, yeah, better in I person. Feel, huh? I'm 53, but I feel at least 52. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel a lot better. My, my spine has, has not been this released in years. So well, and share, really share with other chiropractors why you came down here to learn this technique, because you had patients coming in wanting to know yeah, if you yeah, did yeah. your ring dinger, right? Yeah, I was I was going along in my practice. I didn't really need or want anything. I was set in my ways and busy and all of a sudden patients started coming in asking about this technique and I had no idea. I'm like, I have no idea, I never heard about it. And they said, you have to watch the videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So of course I did and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and that really, it, uh, I saw how how people were getting their, you know, their lives and their health changed in a handful of visits. Yeah. And that intrigued me and I wanted, to, and also immediately when I saw the, the, the technique, I, it re, somehow related to it like, oh my God, that is exactly what I need. Like I'm feeling compressed right. all the time and I want that I want that like times 10. I just want to be released. And when I came down here and I got my first one, it truly, you know, it, it did everything that I thought it would do. So I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get my table. It's coming probably the beginning of November and I'm gonna pre-book. Uh, yeah. My plan is to go home and pre-book the whole month of November and December with these treatments and then get my home and my table comes on time and I'm gonna rock and roll. Well, that's great, we were happy to have you a yeah, part of thank Team, you team Ring Dinger. And great teacher, um, I'm a little stubborn sometimes, set in my ways, but he was very patient with me but and very knowledgeable, so. Well, I'm, we're, I'm we're here, here to improve the quality of patient care and that's the sole reason that we do these techniques in the first place is to get good patient results. Yeah, with adjusting, and that's what I'm really looking forward to when I get back and yes, yeah, life-changing experience for a lot of, a lot of people. Yeah, especially with herniated discs, degenerative disc disease, even spinal canal stenosis. Yeah, we've done all kinds of different. Even patients that have had spinal fusion with instrumentations can get this done, and it wow. helps them because wow. it reduces the fibrotic adhesions and scar tissues that follows up with those surgeries. Yeah. And it, it really, this really provides the promise of, of what chiropractic truly provides. That's right. On all um, three axes. Yeah, amen. Yep. Oh, by the way, I just need to let y'all know, today is a historic day for Texas chiropractors. Oh. Our nerve case is being heard before the Supreme Court today, arguments for the nerve case against the evil TMA. Mm -hmm. So... The Texas Supreme Court today will be hearing arguments from our attorneys and the Texas Board of Chiropractic Examiners and the Texas Chiropractic Association defending the public's right to receive chiropractic care for nerve conditions such as headaches, pain itself, um, radicular pain, sciatica, cervical thoracic radiculopathy, paresthesia. Those are all neurological conditions which chiropractic is intimately critical in helping those patients with nerve conditions. I mean, you can't separate nerves out of the spine. That's where nerves are in house, is in the spinal cord and then exiting between each and every one of the 23 or 24 freely movable vertebrae. So, you know, it's, it's a ridiculous, monopolistic thing that the TMA is trying to do. They're trying to control healthcare in the state of Texas. and. Please pray for the Texas Board of Chiropractic Examiners, the Texas Chiropractic Association, our attorneys, and the Supreme Court justices that they will see 
the the inequality that has occurred through these lower courts rulings against us to prohibit us from treating patients with nerve conditions. They'll have to throw me in jail before I stop treating patients with nerve <laughs> conditions because that's what we do. On a daily basis. Yeah, and that, you know, we'd be the only state in the entire 50 states in the United States of America that had these kind of restrictions on us. So it's really important that we win this decision in the Supreme Court. Amen. And you know, probably won't have a decision for like six months, but at least at least they're gonna be hearing it from the Supreme Court. And if this doesn't pass, we'll have to get legislation that enacts that, that supersedes and trumps any court's decisions. And maybe rally all the patients that have gotten yeah. well from that's right. Our treatments yep. from nerve conditions. Yep. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous in the first place. I mean, chiropractic was founded by treating subluxations of the spine, which directly affect neurological physiology. It's in the definition. It is the definition. And if that happens here in Texas, it won't just yeah, stay it, here in what Texas. What happens in Texas won't stay in Texas. Mm -hmm. All these other state medical associations will be suing their you know, board of examiners and their laws and trying to restrict their treatment. Now, we had an AMA case back in the 70s that was heard uh, before the Supreme Court of the United States and they found that the AMA was practicing antitrust and, and trying to monopolize healthcare in the state of Texas. We did win that case and that's what propelled chiropractic into the forefront of healthcare. And that was back in the 70s. Yeah. But this is on a state level for us and you know we've been doing everything we can to educate the public, educate the judges, educate the legislators on the importance of chiropractors being able to diagnose and treat patients that have neurological conditions. We're not treating brain stuff, we're not treating multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's, things like that. So we're not trying to be neurologists but we do affect the nervous system with every single adjustment that we make. So it's important that chiropractors be able to provide the same level of services that we have for the last 125 years. And by the way, this is the 125th anniversary of the birth of chiropractic. That's right. At Palmer College of Chiropractic mm -hmm. up in Davenport, Iowa, where I went to school. And you went to life, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, which is also a very good school. They teach their students how to adjust, which yeah. I think is critically important. Yes. We've got Jeremy and Tristan up at Palmer College of Chiropractic right now, and they're doing technique classes, and they're learning about subluxations in the nervous system. I mean, it's a huge part of our education, so we just want to be able to practice up to the level of our education. Amen. And, and we're trained to do it, so I don't, it shouldn't, a TMA or AMA or anybody shouldn't be trying to put, place restrictions on the public's ability to come in and see us as a primary health care provider. I really don't think it's going to happen. Oh, and it's because, already happened in the lower it's courts. It's going to get turned around because the people are not going to stand for it. We're helping too many people in uh, a safe, safer, natural, more conservative yeah. way. No drugs, no surgery. You know, and if you need those things, we refer out to orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, when patients need that type of care because of our history and examinations and our knowledge on what is good and not good for patients. Right. And we screen our patients with histories and exams on whether they're even candidates for chiropractic care in the first place. And that's a super, super important part of a chiropractor's job is to do a thorough history and examination on you so they can come to an accurate assessment of your differential diagnosis and then treatment plan thereafter. Would you agree with that? 100%. Yeah. Great, well, I'm gonna get my ring dinger first thing this morning so I can get my day started off good. Patients aren't even here yet, so this is before we get started. And uh, doctor, wanna check me out and see? Okay, yes, sir. So, okay. forgive me if I'm a little eh, because this is training for me. And, uh, <laughs> this is new techniques. So, I'm going to look at your posture from the back, and I'm seeing a slight rotation mm -hmm. in your pelvis and in your thoracics because your right, your left hand is more forward. Yep. Than the right, and I'm also seeing a slight lateral head tilt to the right. Yep. Um, pelvis is a little right as yeah, well. and it's all you got. You got a whole torque to the right, yeah. just about. That's from adjusting all the time on the left side of the table. That <laughs> makes sense. Oh. Okay, all so right. so 
the next Yeah, he did his very first ring dinger ever on me yesterday, and it was phenomenal. I love <laughs> these chiropractors coming in here to Houston mm -hmm. so that I can get adjusted twice a day myself. I do practice what I preach. <laughs> I think the short guys get better leverage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. All right, how do and we this, this table down? is just that right, pedal right, right there. The, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Now, the great thing about this table, and I designed it this way, is you can elevate or lower the table according to the doctor's height and lower it for the patients who have a hard time getting up on the table, lower it down so they can get on and off of it easily. Okay, that seems pretty good. Now we pin in. Mm -hmm. I did the legs first. Oh, lift the legs? Yeah. Just hit one. Thank you. Just hit one. Mm -hmm. I like how it's pre-programmed. Yes. <clears throat> for most people. For most people, and then I've got two that goes up a little higher for taller people, and then I've got really tall ones for the athletes that we see. Yeah, I got a couple 300 plus six foot five linebackers in my practice. Yep. <laughs> this will, they'll fit on this, right? They're going to love the ring dinger. Yep, good job. Tight He's enough? Got me in there really tight. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I'm free. All right, so. That was perfect. So we hug it a little bit on the accident first. Mm -hmm. Just get it in there. Good. Look around. Don't choke you, but get it tight. Get tight, tight yeah. grip. Okay, just relax. Important to keep your teeth together, but don't bite down hard. Just relax. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I heard it. Good right? job. Oh, I felt it too. Oh, all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. Okay. I felt that all the way down. <laughs> Amen. I bet I'm still kicking too. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, they're still kicking, guys. <laughs> Coronavirus hasn't got us. <laughs> it never will. Cool. Now, what button makes it go down all the way? Uh, four. Just four goes yep. straight down. Yep. And then you always hear me talking to my patients about turning sideways and getting up yeah. sideways. That's really important because when you sit up straight, you can put your spine into flexion. The disc bulges in the front, gets compressed in the front, bulges backwards. That's where the nerves come out. Again, chiropractors do treat neuromusculoskeletal conditions. Okay, so we're going to go here, face down for me, Doc. Okay. Again, got to lower this one. There's the lower. That's this pedal. <clears throat> and then these last two things here, do the pelvis and the lumbar spine. Okay. I pull this out, see? This little, and that drops. It. That drops it down, yep. Okay. And then you just step on that little strip and it'll pop the table up. Okay, even legs as we... Yeah, that could not right tighten up as bad as it was on Monday. But you just got the pull, so who knows? But I definitely feel some tightness. Do you mm -hmm. feel it? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit down in the lumbosacral region. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just hit this bar and it pops you up. Yeah. And it's ready to push? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. All right, good. I got it. Makes it pretty easy. I like the air. Yeah. I just have a manual one where you got to cock it up every time. Makes my arms bigger, but this, this is a Hill Laboratories table. The same people that manufactured my table. They made this one for me as well. It slipped there, sorry. It's all good quality. Okay, now this is ready for P to A on the lumbar. I just push down, or do, do I need to uh, lift no, up same, the... No, same thing. Yep, right. okay. same thing. Relax. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. And then you... Bring the angle. Yep. Up. See the difference? Ooh, yep. got a cabinet. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, do I lift here too for up? Uh, well, I don't even use the thoracic drops when I'm doing the thoracics. I just hit them P to A. Okay. How was that? Was that That was perfect. Okay, now we're moving up, up north here. I feel great, so can you. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I feel some built up tension here, which is. Yeah, that's listening to the Bernays side seat driving the whole way in there. <laughs> it's just epidemic in this society. We're always looking down mm -hmm. on our phones. And well, that's else. probably the number one cause of spine issues is the forward head posture yep. in people's daily activities. All right, so we're just going to release it the way I usually do it. Lift straight up, a little bit sideways, relax it. Good. Good. Uh -huh. 
You like to get dropped here or you don't mind? No, I like the PDA without yeah. the drops. Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You're just bringing all these doctors down so you can get adjusted. That's right. <laughs> Look straight up. Good. Nice. Well, you and I were talking about it's really hard to find a good chiropractor that adjusts you yeah. the way you want to be adjusted. Good. So, yeah, I love it when you guys come in. Good. And I have friends here in Houston who adjust me, but they don't do the ring dinger, and I really miss that. Well, see, that's tens better. I feel it looser. Too. Yeah, that's tens better. No pain at all. Okay. Now, I, just, I want to do the drop on your cervical Yeah, you want to hit the chin down? No, no. I'm, and keep the chin. Just keep it neutral. Neutral. All right. Now, hit the, the cervical uh, piece is the top. Cervical one. drop? Yes. Only, and then. And then get rid of the other two. Got it. Okay. So, good enough tension? Yes, sir. Perfect. Just it, it didn't pop up though. There you go. Okay, I see it. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you go up. I have C six is herniated, so if you go straight P to A on that with a little scoop up towards the facet angles, it'd be beneficial. Okay. Perfect. Yes, sir. Right, then. I think and then I do T two as well. Drop T two as well to bring the whole head up over the spine. Go down just a little bit more. And knife edge, I do the knife edge. That's what I got. Yep, there you go. Nice. Perfect. Much better movement in here. Yep, I'm not stiff now. Still feel a little bit something here, do you? Uh, my right hand side has always been an issue. Let me hit it one more time, are you okay with that? Oh yeah. One more? Yeah. Yeah, lumbar piece in the pelvic, the bottom two. I take the cervical off. Oh, you can't do it all. Yeah, because otherwise they all fall up. Okay. There you go. One more, one more for good luck. <laughs> Did it pop up? Yep, it's up. Oh, yeah. That's a little better. Yes, okay, so now you can flip over on your back, please. Yep. Now this yeah, comes lift, up. Lift this yep. up and then push that thing in. There you go. That box is in place. I like this table. I do too. Okay, so you put the cervical on now. Yes. Just pop it up. Take the other two off. The other two are off. There, she works. Does this help? Because I think I like, I feel better on this side. Whichever side you feel. Oh, yeah. And it has a push. Yeah, you got a, I got a pad over there too. Yeah. Alright, so you just, on the I get a arch. little more internal on this. There you go. And then lift it up and back. Okay, just relax. How was that? That was good. And you want to stay in a little closer. A little closer. Because if you get out here, you're messing with the TMJ. Let's stay a little bit closer on the zygomatic right there. Like almost straight on the face. Uh, well, yeah, your palms, the pad, should be touching the bottom of the zygomatic process. Got it. How's that better? Yeah, that was much better, actually. Great. <laughs> and now, did I miss anything? Oh, yeah, shoulders. Scoot down a little, little bit, bit more. And now you do the thoracic piece and turn the cervical piece off. You, go. you come from the head of the table or from here? I usually do it from there where you're at yeah. right now. And I adjust the AC joint straight laterally on the X axis, straight out sideways. Push it away so I'm opening the joint up. But this? Yes, huh? that's correct. I do both of them at the same time and it works better. Because ah. then you're getting total clavicular changes like as well. Yeah, that was good. And then work my way but, up the. But you want to get it right on the. A chromium process here and push that away from the clavicle on both sides. So you really your contact the anterior part of the chromium process. What did I just do? Stop oh. <laughs> uh, there you go. There better. I felt that, that was better, better. yeah. This is not popping out. Hold on. Okay. Now I do the clavicles the same way, push them straight out on the X. Both at the same time? No, no, I do those one at a time. That's what I was going to say, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. 
right? Yeah, push it a little bit more lateral. Do you use this hand or this hand? I, whichever one feels good. I use it. There you go. Oh, there. So see, even got you a, can feel it. Yeah, yeah it's got a release. Yeah. I don't go quite so hard on those claps. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. It didn't hurt me. I'm just telling you, I usually do that a little softer. Oh, show my big belly. <laughs> right, now, where are we going from here? We did clavicles, and shoulders. And then did ribs. Just and, do and push those straight up edge, sideways as well. Yes. And I did easier on those as well. There. Like that. You got to really be careful on uh, ladies that have osteoporosis or osteopenia yeah. because you don't want to fracture those ribs. Nope. That was perfect. That was perfect. Good job. Okay. Do you anything? want to pull my stomach in? I'd like to try. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Could, uh, I'd get on this side so you get a little more leverage. Me and, you, and you come down below the xiphoid process and get into the soft area down there in the belly. And then I pull the fascia straight down to my left so you want to come down in there with you want to pull with these three fingers and push with these and put your body weight into it and lean down into the left like pretty 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 deep it's like in other words you have to get deep we're just actually. taking all that slack and that's just, right you know it's just like you need adjustment you're getting the slack out i put these fingers here and work this angle and then this guy here get there you go kind of over me and you want to Go Put down in, down in deep, get the, get the and slack then push out. down that way. And then slowly, right? Have the On push. exhalation. Okay. And out. Am I getting it? Yep. And then when you inhale, I do that I get three it. times. And then I come start again and yep. get another I do one. that three times in a row. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, you want to make sure you get always below the xiphoid because you don't want to snap that xiphoid off in there. Oh, uh, no. Don't want to do that now. <laughs> uh, deep breath in. And... You know, the reason that I see so many patients with acid reflux and hiatal hernia and GERD is not because I diagnose or treat the disease, but I get down to the underlying cause of the biomechanics of the thoracic spine rib cage and pull that down to my fascia here, pull that down. It just kind of lines everything up to where the diaphragm is strong enough to hold the stomach down below the diaphragm where it's supposed to be yeah. so it doesn't secrete acid up into the esophagus. It makes sense. It does. Physiologically and it, 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 it anatomically. Patients, even though I don't diagnose or treat it, we see a lot of good positive results on patients suffering from acid reflux and hyaluronic and GERD. I mean, and I had it done myself. The reason I know so much about it is because I actually had a severe case of it myself. I know you you treated me once, and mine is. I mean, I didn't have a severe problem, but occasionally if I overeat it, later in the evening, I get it. Yeah, I caught you eating tums that first day. <laughs> I had a couple of good meals to, well because I'm traveling in the evening, and I didn't really feel it too bad. So it, yeah, it, good. It, I really feel like there was an effect. I mean, I just uh, just for the audience too, and I'm sure you too. I, just by clearing out just the thoracic yes, area in the rear. on on many patients over the years. They come to me and they're like, hey, doc, can this affect, you know, I didn't acid even be trying. I'm just a right. clearing out their spine. Right. And all of a sudden they're telling me they're not experiencing their right. acid reflux anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's a secondary byproduct, but we're not directly treating it. Right, exactly. But it's, it happens. It's, it's the same thing that it we've happens. been talking about. The yeah. nervous system controls and coordinates the function of every organ, muscle, tissue, and cell. And when we adjust the spine, we are releasing the nervous system right. to function at its most optimal level, which helps every organ muscle. Everything. A through Z. That's I right. Patients. Sympathetic and parasympathetic. Across the board. That's right. Just by make, keeping the spine healthy. That's right. It's not just about the bones and the muscles, although it is, but it's much more than it's, that. It's neuromusculoskeletal, and that's really and the let's definition. Let's keep it that way. That's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, do we do so pray for the Supreme you? Court judges that they will rule in our favor. Yes. Dr. Pray Johnson. You want to pull my leg for me? Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to try that. All right. So, you I just foot between the, the legs. The ankle, yeah. And, and then get some below, slack. right below the knee. You want contact with your hands right below. There you go. So, what you're doing is you're, mean, just, you're just pulling the tibia and fibula down away from the knee joint so it reseats it you're just separate same thing as the y-axis adjustment on the spine at least from the lower end 
But uh, am I pulling a little bit also with my with my yeah, legs you use here your legs and, and my arms at the same time, right? That's how I get so much power in them. You it look like you got a lot more power than I did, but let me try. Ben, does does it need to be relaxed? Uh, yeah, relax, 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 relax. Oh, your shoe came off. No, it's good. I'm gonna have to practice that one. I don't quite feel it. But this is better than sharp stick, yeah. You know. I'll get it. It's gonna take me a while. And you want, to, you want to make sure patients have their teeth together on that yeah, one too, because you yeah, get yeah, that flop. Yeah. Was yeah. that? That was perfect. It was. Yeah. Good. All right. I'll practice. Yeah. Trust me. You'll not, get it. When I get home, I'm, I got a lot of people to practice. Oh on. wow! I did put my shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the same shoes on today, by the way. <laughs> there we go. So in my shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Yes. Randy's getting antsy. <laughs> Gonna get a hug from your new friend. There you go. Jersey. That's it. Oh, I might have to lower this a little bit more. I don't know if it oh. goes in. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna sit on the floor for you. <laughs> Big guys, sometimes I have a little problem getting around. So yeah. Just keep your hand out of there. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Yep. yep. That was good. <laughs> Around. And you're adjusting the glenohumeral joint with this adjustment, putting yeah. the putting the ball and socket back together. Yeah, I it, it the table's a little high, so I'm not on my game with that. But I got it. I, I do that every day in my office, so okay. I don't need Good. to practice on that. Good. Not the wrist. There you go. Good. Better. Yep. Better. Well, let's up the fingers. And tell them why we adjust every joint. What's that do? We charge by the pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, you guys gave me some good ideas on my new schedule next year. It, it changes yeah. the brain. Right? I, I will be the highest paid chiropractor in the world if I get charged by the pop. Because I probably get more pops on a patient than any other chiropractor. Because right. well. I adjust every joint. When I was younger, I used to smoke them. Now I adjust them. Oh, God. <laughs> There you go. Woo. Perfect. Yes, sir. You heard that? Yes. That'd be $100, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. Good. Perfect. Yep. You want to shoot me? Sure. <laughs> I don't know about you leaning back on me, though. You've been no. Too big. Yeah. So, um, I just I just put the head in flexion. I hold that down, and then I bounce the paraspinal muscles with that instrument. Start. Uh, Start in, the mid, mid cervical. Mid, mid cervical, yeah. And then work up. I go, I go down usually. Okay, so it, 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 as, you're, as you're pushing pressure on me, you'll see an increased range of motion in my cervical It'll spine as a result right up, of right? loosening up these muscles. All right, so right here. Mm -hmm. I, I hit it a little harder. Get right in there. There you go. See, watch. See? See how it's changing my range of motion? Yeah. Hit the spindles, right? That's right. You're affecting the Golgi tendon apparatus, which is also neurological, by the way. Good. You do one, and I, I one go pass all, all, I go way all the way down. All the yep. way down, okay. And push in a little bit harder on the... There you go. Oh, oh, flex it down too while I do it. Yeah, but also you push in with the instrument a little harder too, so it gets more depth. Especially when you get down that thoracolumbar and lumbar spine. That was perfect. <laughs> See, I like doubled my range of motion after doing that. Good. And then I always do a mirror image and then on the, the atlas. atlas laterally. All right, so... One pop. Just get right on the transverse. Yeah, that's good. A couple taps. Explain what that does. Again. Well, I'm adjusting the atlas in a mirror image of my biomechanics so that whenever the neurological proprioceptive bombardment goes into the cerebellum, the cerebellum then analyzes that and brings it down efferently so that it actually changes my neurological function in my standing weight bearing biomechanics. So, so if I was like, forward and right, you come up, translate left, go backwards, and you hit that atlas, it starts making immediate neuroplasticity changes in the brain. So it's like a reset button. It's, yeah. it's saying go go more in that direction than the opposite direction. Yeah, and it's and it, you know we're trying to teach the brain how to hold the body in this newer biomechanical configuration that we're putting it in, and this helps that with the neural. Amen. Which is super important. It is, and that's why I end every single patient adjustment with the Atlas adjustment with this instrument. Uh, 
it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, because it helps with st stabilizing the patient. Because who? I mean, it's, well, it's valuable to get rebalanced, but if you can't hold that re right. rebalance, that's right. And that's for, why you see our patients time. getting better in so quick of a time frame. Uh, quicker. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah, that's why we have to charge for every crack. <laughs> <laughs> Here, okay. you want to hit that left side for me too? So oh, I, I hit both sides. Side, yeah, because it but, reverberates the atlas. There you go. Now flex. Let's see how your posture is. It's probably I perfect see. right Most now. Most of your rotation is gone, and, and the translation is gone. And the too. translation is like ninety-seven percent gone. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yep. Yeah. In one visit, and I, I don't even really know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very I much. I want you guys That's to good. welcome Dr. Eric Herman to Team Ring Digger and make sure you go see him up in New Jersey. You mind giving him your phone number and your... Don't, no, I don't want to give my phone number. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. I'm kidding. <laughs> how do you want to contact you? Yeah. Um, my, my office is in Edison, New Jersey. It's called Retro Chiropractic. You can go to retrochiropractic.com and you can opt in there, uh, put your information in and somebody will get back in touch with you. Or you can uh, text my assistant Zachary at 908-224-3080. Reason why I know phones is because we're bombarded yeah. and we just are overwhelmed with phone calls, so we're doing it through texting. It's well, more people efficient. always want to tell you their it's whole life story on the phone, you know, and want well, you to diagnose them and treat them over the phone and tell them you're going to guarantee a treatment result, and yeah. you just can't do that on yeah. the, over the phone or the internet for that matter. Right. That's why we do email scheduling only. I'm, we I'm off our at, website. I'm looking at that too as a yeah. possibility, but well, we just don't answer our phones because it became waste too cumbersome to do that. You can't tell people over the phone that you're going to help them anyway. You have to do a right. history right. exam on them first and find out if they're eligible to receive care. Right? Exactly. Care. And people nowadays seem to not mat. I don't think they it, they care that much. I think they like texting more so than the calls. A lot of people. A lot. Yeah. Of people. And then when it, whenever we accept a patient for care. Renee always gives them her personal cell phone number so they can text her from yeah. that point yeah. forward. Right. And, and when that's I, how they reschedule their appointments to come in here. I don't know if you do this, but when I meet a patient, once they come in and they're a patient, I do give them my cell phone, but only for um, you know something that they're concerned about medically right. and try to keep it within business hours. Right. Uh, so I am available like that. But for medical, for you know administrative and scheduling, yeah, you, see, you talk to Zach. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, good. Well, thanks again. Thank and you. Welcome, cool. welcome, Dr. Eric Herman to Team Ring Dinger, Thank and you. pray oh. for the Supreme Court in Amen. Texas today, Amen. so Amen. that they reverse this idiotic TMA decision regarding chiropractors treating nerve conditions. Yeah. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and this is Eric Herman, New Jersey newest team member for Ring Dinger in New Jersey. Yep. Come see me if you need me over there. That's you right. You want to fly here. <laughs> so we'll see y'all soon.